Hello! In this video, I'm gonna retrain a document classification package using AI Center. This is an extra info from our document understanding series. It's an optional step, but highly recommended, as it guarantees that the skill keeps learning from the processed documents, making the classification present better and more accurate results, which reduces the need for human intervention as the workflow is executed. So let's go to the workflow. I have here my framework of document understanding. And the first thing I'm going to do is add right here, after the consume extracted data, a new sequence. Let me just move it up a little, okay. And I'll call it train classifier. Okay. Inside it, let's add our new workflow. I'll call it train classifier too. and put it into the steps folder and hit create. Okay, we will add the log message, the usual log message here. And I'll call it, and I'll put provide the message, train, training, sorry, classifier. Okay, now we can start talking about the retraining effectively. So the first thing I'm going to add here is a train classifier scope. And we can see that this activity has some very familiar inputs for us. So it is the document path, the text and the object model that are from get gotten from the digitization step. Here the taxonomy from the taxonomy step and right here two new inputs the human validated data and the human validated classification data they are ex exclusive so you have to choose one of them to provide here in the input section and their difference is basically the human validated data is the validated data from the extraction step right and the classification data is the validated data from the classification step right and so if you have a workflow which stops at the classification part, there is no extraction to be done in that workflow. You can provide here in the train classifier scope just the validated data from the classification step. But if it you if you have a extraction step just like us, you can provide then the extraction results here. Okay, I will start filling them now. So we have the in file the in text, the DOM, in our case here, the invalidated extraction result, and the final one, the in taxonomy. Okay, perfect. Now we have to drop our classifier to be trained here. UiPath, the base UiPath, uh, provides us three classifiers to be possible for training. We have the keyword based classifier, the intelligent keyword based classifier, and the machine learning classifier. Since in our series we focused on the machine learning classifier, I will put it here. So it's the activity machine learning classifier trainer. I just drop it here and it prompts us with to select an ML skill. This is the skill to be trained. So I will put here the uh, my skill, the invoices BR, and click on get capabilities. Okay, now we have to provide a project and a data set inside this project to be used on this training. Because the idea of this activity is to upload all the documents that are being processed that passed through here to our to this dataset inside this project in our AI center. So from there we can proceed with the retraining of the package. Okay, so here I will provide my project, it is the document classifiers, and inside the dataset I will put this demo dataset here. It has to be pre-created in the in your AI center. Okay, 
with this configured, we just quickly have to click here on configure classifiers. And here we have the document types to be trained, or better, classified. So, MySQL already has the training for SAG, LIGHT, and TEAM documents. Since in our case we only have SAG, I will just provide it here, SAG. And if we had other document types, we could use any of these capabilities here. But for now, just SAG. And we can hit save. Perfect. Our activity is done. We can go back to the main and provide here the train classifier workflow. Let me just import our arguments here. So we have the paths counter, the text, DOM, the validated extraction results, and the taxonomy. Perfect. One last thing I'm gonna do is put another sequence here after the train classifier so we can close the workflow cycle here. I will just call it increase counter and inside it I will put a simple assign activity with counter equals counter plus one. Perfect. This means that every time the workflow gets to this point, the counter will be increased by one. Let me just link it. Okay. The counter will be increased by one. So, and after that, it will return here to the this ver verification here. And if the counter is more, it's bigger than the number of files, it means that every file inside the directory we provided in the config file it was processed, so it can go here to the end process stage. If not, it follows process, it gets another document and proceeds to the rest of the workflow. Okay, so the idea now is to simply run this workflow and so that the documents can be uploaded to the AI Center. I already ran the workflow, so I have one document there and I will show it to you. Here it is, my dataset demo. Inside it, we have a, this zip category here, SAG. If we had more document types, there will be more categories here. So with that, I mean like SAG, LIGHT, TEAM, and so on. Inside SAG, we have the document I uploaded, my activity uploaded. And with this, we can then proceed with training the package. For that, we click here on pipelines, create new, select the type of the pipeline, it will be a train run. We choose the package to be trained, so it will be the ML invoices BR class, the major version, and the minor version. Since I already trained this package once, I have the version 3.1, so I will train the version 3.1, and the input dataset will be the dataset I provided in the activity, so demo. Now you just hit create and create the pipeline and await it for it to run. I will not be creating it here because as I said, it takes a little while, but it's sim really simple as that. We hit create and when the pipeline appears here as successful, we can then proceed to create the skill in its new version. So we would click here on ML skills and here is my skill. We just click it, and here there is all there are all the packages versions, right? So here we would have 3.2, and we would simply click here on the arrow the sim, arrow symbol, and it would be updated automatically. So we could be used inside any workflow we desire. Okay, one more thing I want to add is that this retraining doesn't have to be performed every time the workflow gets done. It's execution done. We could wait for more documents to be populating the dataset so that we could train the package with a with more documents, right? Because the minimum number of documents in each of each type 
that has to be there in the dataset is 5. In my case I only have one, but the minimum number is 5. So you have to have 5 documents of each type inside the dataset so that this retraining can be completed successfully. Alright, so this is the end of our demo. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.